Uganda and in this part of Norway that means this is around the time where the water starts to hurt your face when you go in. It's 9 degrees now. It could have been worse and it will become worse later. Today we are diving at a place that's literally a big current and since currents holds lots of fish it's gonna be exciting, we hope. It was a very promising spot, and already on the first dive I saw several nice pollocks swimming around. I decided to hold my shot this time and just enjoy the scenery. But on the next dive I wanted fish, so I decided to drop a few meters deeper. I was instantly greeted with several targets, but of course, the most tempting is all the way in the back. gun swayed just a little bit behind the fish, so I came up empty handed. But that stuff happens, so I just reloaded my spear gun and continued with the current. Here, in this narrow and shallow area, the current was really picking up as you can see from all the kelp laying practically flat. But in that kelp there were plenty of small cold fish, and somewhere there had to be a big cod or pollock. It's not even near the one I missed, but still, it's easily a couple of dinners, I'll definitely take that. Gutting the fish in the water will save you both time and smell in the kitchen. And with all that bait fish around, it's not going to waste. The current was picking up really fast, and just 15 minutes later I was back at the original spot. Here I was filming my buddy Marius having a dive. You can see he's really struggling to get a hold in the kelp as he's getting pulled outwards, and in the end he just had to give up. This might not look like ideal conditions to go spearfishing, but I was really eager to give it a go. Henrik, the silver medalist from the Norwegian Championship, had both my back and a camera. I was just about to head for the surface when something caught my attention.
not the biggest, but it's a card. <laughs> With success the first time, we went for it again. Spotting cod while going down here at full speed was no easy task. So that's really bad timing to forget the safety. There's no way you can stay in place long enough to get both the safety off and the fish off. On the third dive I hit the current that pushed me straight up and I had no chance of getting back down to the cod. What you gonna do? The last fish we saw for the day was this huge slump fish that Tormund, the last guy on the trip, found in the sheltered shallows. But there was still one thing we wanted to do before calling it a day. Thank you so much for watching, please leave a like if you enjoyed it. The next video will be from the Nordic Championship earlier this year and until then, dive safe. <laughs>